the rockets have arrived. Smash that subscribe button to find out more. Today's a big day. We have two rockets arrived on the farm. Anyway, more about that later. Build project was going well. We started doing a lot more drainage, especially down the front end of the building and also running water pipes in for the services into the robot rooms. These could all be connected and put down the same trench. We had to find a way on how to get the milk tube or the milk pipe from the robots all the way around to the dairy or the tank room which was about 50 meters away. We decided to do this underground and all the services for the robots and all the airlines etc would all be run down the same same pipe underground. Doing this also prevented things from sort of crossing the buildings which could be caught with tractors which would be dangling down which obviously looks very untidy. This was quite a job in itself. Running the pipe was straightforward but actually getting the pipes through uh, the milk tubes through the actual underground pipe was an absolute nightmare. Mark carried on playing with his digger, which he can do that because he just loves doing it. Um, carried on tidying up and uh, levelling the site. He did a lot of levelling up on the inside of the building. It was really, really starting to take shape. We decided to run slurry pipes around from the back of the robot room round to the um, other building, which would help flush slurry down at a later date. We had a staircase built from Melvin Cars of Huddersfield. This was so we could go onto the top of the actual robot rooms where the office was going to be situated. We built the office simply in a box shape out of uh, stud work. It's fairly simple, straightforward. Uh, we decided to put a window in the front so obviously when you sat up there doing the computer work for the cows we could look out and uh, monitor the cows continuously. A safety rail was put together around the top of the robot rooms. Obviously we didn't want anybody to fall off. And also once the staircase is fitted it makes a great storage platform too. We did insulate the office as well and cover it with uh, tin sheets. As we built the robot rooms in concrete blocks we needed to keep these clean. So we decided to cover the walls in what they call dairy coat which is a resin mixture. Also doing the floors as well, sealing all the concrete up making it easier for clean down at a later date. Also a red tractor would approve of this because the walls are obviously washable. The Collinson Corn Towers arrived. These looked like rockets when they were laid on the side of the wagon. Incredible sight seeing it coming down the road. People must have wondered what they were. The new 10,000 litre milk tank arrived from Fabdeck. We had to fit it into the purpose built tank room. It was a tight squeeze but it did go in. The engineers from Lilly were now on, on site and trying to fit everything together. As I mentioned earlier on, dragging the actual services from the tank room to the robots was an absolute nightmare. We ought to have put 6 inch pipe in instead of 4. It would have made things a lot easier. Things were really, really starting to come together now. The buffer tank was fitted in the tank room. This was to divert the milk into while the main tank was being washed out. The robot we saw earlier at the Yorkshire show was now on farm and fitted into the robot rooms. Stage one of the build was actually almost complete. It's all the finishing off that seems to just take forever. Hit the subscribe button to be notified of part seven.